Hello, everyone. Good morning or good afternoon. I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes to let um, some other people join before we begin. Hi everyone, a couple of people are joining. Again, I'm just gonna wait a, a one a minute or so um, to have other people join. Um, so thank you for your patience. Alrighty, so good morning and good afternoon to everyone who's joined this walkthrough and webinar. Thank you so much. We're going to be going over event registration with event pre ticketing. We're incredibly excited to share with you this new product that we've added to our events product. Uh, our team has been eagerly working on it. So as I said, we're really excited to be sharing it with you today. To go over just the information that um, we'll be going through, first I'll give just some background and basic information on our events product, as well as our new uh, feature event registration. Then we'll go into a live walkthrough of the product itself. And then lastly, I'll answer any questions you may have on your GoToWebinar control panel you can use the questions area to ask your questions there. You can do it throughout the webinar, but I'll be answering them at the end. Alrighty, so let's begin. So for those of you who are not familiar with our events product on Mighty Cause, creating an event for an organization or hosting an event for an organization is the perfect solution to really motivate supporters with peer-to-peer -peer fundraising because it provides you the ability to engage with your community. And by using Mighty Cause, it makes it incredibly easy and manageable to host. So it's perfect for organizations that have or are planning to create a 5K or fun run, a walk-a-thon, read-a-thon, any type of thon, a marathon, a tournament of any kind. Mighty Cause provides that solution to make it easy and efficient to host. So why did we add registration onto our platform? Why was that something that was a priority for us? Well, first we wanted to make sure to streamline the event management process for event organizers. We wanted to have everything in one place so it's that much easier for you. And by doing so, by having registration and fundraising in one place, you're going to be able to engage more supporters. And by doing so, then you're going to be raising more money for your fundraiser. So why did we choose Eventbrite as our event registration integration platform? Well, first, Eventbrite is the leader in online event registration. 
if you haven't used Eventbrite before, Eventbrite is incredibly user-friendly. It's really easy to quickly make a registration page on Eventbrite. And what's great is that you can really add and customize as much information as you need to make sure that if it's the needs of your event. So with this integration, with integrating your Eventbrite account with Mighty Cause, you're going to be able to have individuals register for your event right on your event landing page. So by doing so, you're also gonna be able to collect crucial data from participants. Maybe that means collecting t-shirt sizes or meal options, anything necessary that you may need for hosting a live event. As well, you'll be able to sell tickets as part of your overall event, all while seamless, seamlessly incorporating peer-to-peer -peer fundraising in your event. Some, some key features that we'll be going over that we've added to the platform, as I said, the ability to add registration right onto your event page, as you see that image on the right-hand side, then the ability for the event organizer to manage their attendees on Mighty Cause. You'll see important information and build reports, which we'll go over. As well, you'll be able to message attendees right through Mighty Cause. So any important information that you need to get out to your participants, you can do so in Mighty Cause. And lastly, you can set fundraising requirements for attendees based on their ticket or registration type. So now we'll jump into the live walkthrough where you'll be able to see our events product and how you can add registration right onto the platform. Alrighty, so for those of you who have used our events product before, I'm just gonna be going over the basics of our events tool for those who are not familiar with our events product. So this is the live page or event landing page of an event. The organizer has placed the goal of their event, the deadline, as well as the organization that where funds are going to. Below the thermometer, donors can donate directly to the event or select a team or individual that they want to support. As well, individuals can immediately join your event and start fundraising by selecting join this event. The leaderboard will showcase all the individuals that are participating in your event and fundraising, as well as any teams. So this is a fundraising page of an individual, and this is a team page. Below the leaderboard, you can share more about your event and use custom tabs to share detailed information that you need in participants to learn. If you have any partners, sponsors, or affiliates, perhaps a local business is donating something for your event, you can share their information here and link to their website. Whenever a donation is made for your event or a fundraiser that's participating in your event, you'll also be able to see that information in your donations report. If an individual has also created a fundraiser or campaign, you'll be able to see a list of all the fundraisers that have been created for your event. So once you have that all set up and created, and now you wanna add registration, the first step is to create your registration page right on Eventbrite. So you'll want to go to eventbrite.com. As I said before, if you haven't created an event on Eventbrite before, it's really easy. I've done so myself. As you'll see at the top, there's a button that says create this event. Once you select that, you'll be prompted to create an account. If you don't have an account on Eventbrite yet, we recommend using the email address or account that you currently have on Mighty Cause. If you don't, no problem. You'll still be able to sync your Eventbrite account with Mighty Cause. Once you create your account, you'll be able to add basic details about your event. 
and then add key ticketing types, as well as important registration information that you need. For example, like t-shirt size. Once you've added all of that information in, you'll publish your event, and you'll be able to see what participants will see for your registration page. Great. So that's the first step, creating your registration page on Eventbrite. Once that's all finished, you'll want to go back to Mighty Cause, and on your left-hand side dashboard, you'll want to go to Registration. You'll be asked to sync your Eventbrite account with Mighty Cause. I already have my account linked up, but that will simply take a second. Once you have those two accounts connected, all of the events that you've created on Eventbrite will be listed here. So you're going to be able to create several events on Mighty Cause and as well as several events on Eventbrite. Choose the registration page that you want to use for your event and then select Connect. Once you've chosen the event that you wanna use, you'll see that all of its information will be populated on your registration page. So the name of the event, how many tickets you'll be selling, as well as the ticket types that you've created. Fundraising will be automatically enabled for your two ticket types. So if you have a specific ticket that you don't want fundraising required, you can simply uncheck this box and fundraising won't be a required option for those registered individuals. So if we go back to our live page view, you'll be able to see that instead of register, we, I mean, instead of join this event, you'll see register. We'll now go through what a participant sees when they register for your event. So you'll send them to your event landing page and they'll simply select register. This will take them to your registration page and I'll quickly register for the event. You'll see the options that you've added into your Eventbrite form will be listed here and I'll complete registration. Great, as you see, the individual is redirected back into Mighty Cause, so the whole process is very seamless. Since fundraising was required option for this ticket option, I'm going to click continue to start building my fundraiser. Now, if an individual chooses to register for their for their event and build their fundraiser as a, as a during a different time that's no problem they'll simply go back to your live page and select already registered as you saw previously there is event right order id that's listed here once an individual registers for your event they'll be sent an event right order id in their email, the order ID can be copy and pasted right here. They'll be asked to choose the fundraiser type that they want to create, and then they can start building their fundraiser. So at any point, individuals can build their fundraising page immediately, or maybe wait another day or time to do so. So, you'll then want to be able to manage and look up information on everyone who's registered and is participating in your event. On your left-hand side dashboard, participants will give you all the individuals that have signed up or registered for your event. At the top, you'll be able to search and select different ticket types and different campaign statuses. So let's say you want to see everyone who selected general admission and has not created their fundraising page or has created their fundraising page. As you see, we don't have any quite yet, 
but you'll always be able to look for different participants that have created, not created, published their fundraising page or have registered for their event. On your right hand side, you can download this information into an Excel sheet or you can message your members directly here. If you have new participants that you want to invite that have not registered for your event, you can also invite new members here as well. So as I said, maybe you have a participant that registered for your event, but they haven't started the process of creating a fundraiser. You can search that right in participants and message them here directly, inviting them to start creating their fundraiser. If a participant maybe doesn't have their order ID, doesn't know how to track that email that they received, that's not a problem for you as an organizer. Because in your attendee report, which is the information that's synced directly from Eventbrite, you'll be able to see the order ID of that participant. So again, you can message attendees through here. If they need an order ID, you can simply collect that information, go back into participants, and send them the necessary information they need to build their fundraiser. So now that you've synced your registration page with Mighty Cause, you'll have all the necessary tools and uh, features you need to successfully manage your event. So I'm gonna open up for any questions that we have so far. Uh, one of them is, what are the costs of this event fundraising and registration? That's a great question. So Mighty Cause has separate transaction fees per donation. Those are listed on our website. And as well, Eventbrite has its own registration transaction fees that are also listed on the website, depending on the options that you choose. So Eventbrite has three different uh, pricing options uh, that are available for individuals to utilize. Um, so all of the revenue that you receive in regards to your event in, from the registration, uh, registration aspect, you'll be able to receive through Eventbrite and you can manage that all on your account. What tools are available to help make it easy for my participants to fundraise? Also, that's a great question. So if you wanna make it as easy as possible for individuals to just start fundraising for your event, you can create a template for them. So on your left-hand side dashboard, under settings, we have a fundraiser template available. Well, you'll be able to add in key information that people might need to have on their fundraising page. So once they build their fundraiser, it will be pre-populated on their page and all they'll need to do is publish. As well, you can recommend you know, prepping some materials like a sample email, talking points, um, use uh, our app messaging or the custom tab on your event page to share key resources for fundraiser fundraising individuals. Can you set up an event registration without a donate button and thermometer? So the donate button and thermometer are automatically added onto this on to the event page. Some of my participants will want to fundraise and others won't. Can I charge a registration fee for only those participants that aren't fundraising for us? Yes, so what you would wanna do is you'd wanna create two different tickets on Eventbrite. So one of your tickets, you'll want to have a fee, and the other one, you'll, you will add no fee to it. On your settings for your registration for your event, you'll make, registra you'll make fundraising required for one and not the other. So that way you can have people that want to participate pay the fee um, and those who do not want to um, fundraise to not pay the fee.
So for those of you who had any other questions about our events platform, um, you can reach out to us um, on support at mightycause.com. Again, that's support at mightycause.com. Uh, if you would like further information as well about our events product, if you have a particular event that you're really interested in using this for, we're more than happy to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call and kind of go through what would be most beneficial for your event and how you could set it up on Mighty Cause. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and please let us know if you have any questions. Bye.